We're here in Haiti with Coralie. She's written a beautiful song and I want to know a little bit about it. Yes. How did it go? What is all this about? Yes, the, the title, it's, it's, it's called um, La Kua, which means the yard. And um, for this song, I wanted to tell more about the streets, the outside world here in Haiti where people live here and you see like a lot of people going on like the streets outside here. So you see a lot of... So you're saying like the streets are like your yard, like your yes, garden? Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I wanted to point out the fact that for, for instance in 2018 we faced a lot of strikes, a lot of political issues in, in here in Haiti. Right. And um, it really caught my attention because we've had lots of troubles, a lot of, you know, people couldn't go to, I mean students couldn't go to school. My parents they couldn't go to work because I mean the streets were really they were really fighting against the government and it stuff. was dangerous yes it was very dangerous and we had a lot of people who left the country mm. and I really I was really sad because here is home you know Haiti is home and I really wanted to to ask all these people to come back because we all need like every hands you know yeah. You yeah. need as much positivity as possible. You yes, don't need exactly. it walking out the door, yes. running away from the problem. Yes, we, we need it. But at the same time, it's understandable it's why understandable. somebody would want to put themselves in a safer situation. Yes. But it's difficult there. It's your home. Yes, it's home. Haiti's always home. Yeah, you've got to look after <laughs> your home, right? Yes, always. Okay. <laughs> so tell me about... So in England, mm -hmm. we have this idea of voodoo mm -hmm. as like a magical, like dark power kind of thing <laughs> and I've learned a lot about it just today I've only been here for like a day mm -hmm. two days okay so first of all I've learned that it's not voodoo mm -hmm. it's voodoo voodoo is Haiti? that correct yes they say how voodoo you pronounce too. it you don't say vu you say vo, right? voodoo voodoo is, a, is in French and voodoo and vu is in English yes right, okay <laughs> so just to be specific <laughs> it's vu um, and secondly I learned today that it's also about nature Yes. There's a lot of different gods from nature. Mm -hmm. So it was explained to me in a much, much, much lighter, much more mm -hmm. interesting, less dark way, basically. Mm -hmm. And then I was speaking to your producer here yes. that was telling uh -huh. me there is voodoo influence, or voodoo influence, in the rhythm of yes. this song. Can yes. you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, for instance, the bridge, it says, um, Pabli e koto it means don't forget where you come from. Mm -hmm. So um, the rhythm, the drums, it's to like um, remind us of our culture because voodoo is part of our, of our culture and voodoo is really not something to be scared of because it's a religion like all religions right. here in Haiti and it's part of our culture and we really wanted to um, to integrate that in the song and to let all Haitians know, you know every, everyone who listens to the song know that, you know, never forget where you come from. Right. Haiti is home, Haiti is the land. And, and it's beautiful. And it's, it's very beautiful here yeah. in Haiti. It yes. doesn't have to always be dark and scary and upsetting. Exactly. It's actually <laughs> beautiful and yes. full of nature and love yes, and positivity. Yes. That's what I get from this song. Mm -hmm, exactly. So shall we show them? <laughs> yes, let's do this. <laughs> okay, <laughs>